Joining us now is House Financial Services Committee member Congressman Sean Duffy of Wisconsin. Will you vote for this short-term funding bill, Congressman? Only if you eat crow Dagen, um <laughs> on our tax bill. Uh, listen, I, <laughs> going continue, to your question. Continue, sorry. Continue, sorry. Mr. Duffy. <laughs> we'll get that. We'll get to, to that yes. later. Uh, listen, yeah, we want to we want to extend this past Christmas. Um, you know, we, we have some issues, and I think the, the military spending is one of the biggest issues that we have out there. We, we want to make sure that we stop having ships crash into each other and planes fall out of the sky. Um, our men and women are dying. We want a long-term extension. We have enough senators, Democrat senators, that will say no to that increase in funding that could make the government shut down. So we're trying to handle that. How do we make sure we support our military, but also you know, get us into January. So I'll vote for it. I will. So, so you, you, don't, you do not think at this point that the government's going to be shutting down? I don't think it's going to, no. I think we're going to be able to resolve this. We have, you know, a day and a half. Um, we're, we're good on tight timelines. Uh, that seems to be the, the mantra here in Washington, D.C., you know, crisis after crisis, but we get a result. Yeah, but the Republicans, it was certainly a love fest among the Republicans celebrating tax reform, that victory yesterday. President Trump spoke from the White House after the House approved that final bill yesterday afternoon. Listen to this. Hasn't been done in 34 years, but actually really hasn't been done because we broke every record. It's the largest, I always say the most massive, but it's the largest tax cut in the history of our country and reform, but tax cut. Really something special. Companies, AT&T, Com Comcast, just a couple to name, now say that yeah. the GOP tax bill means a $1,000 bonus to all their employees. That's 300000 between Comcast and AT&T alone. Other firms promising to pay to hike wor wages for workers, hike the, the minimum wage, $15 at Wells Fargo and Fifth Third. What do you make of these companies stepping up already? Because there's a lot of cynicism out there about it, but what do you say to it? Congress? Well, there's a lot of misinformation out there, Dagan, that the left-wing media pushes that, that actually Democrats and Democrat leaders have pushed. Um, we, don't, I, we didn't know what AT&T and Qualcomm or Wells Fargo was going to do or Boeing was going to do with their investments or their, their Christmas gifts to their employees. We didn't see that on the horizon. But what we know is that if we give businesses more of their own money to spend the way they see fit instead of here in Washington, they do pretty cool things. They'll invest it. They'll innovate. They'll create. They'll give bonuses to the people that make their companies great. And that's exactly what we saw. And this was our point to Democrats who were thinking this was so horrible for the middle class. We said, you know, no, this, this actually helps the middle class. It off offers more opportunity and more upward mobility. This is the great thing that happens when people get to keep more of their own money. So um, I think Democrats, not only Dagan, uh, not only Dagan is going to eat a little crow, but I yeah. think Democrats are going to eat crow as well, well because eat, listen, this is going to be great for our economy. I am, I am all for, I don't think that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer or anybody who's elected to office in Washington, yourself included, makes better decisions with my money I, or the I people's agree. money than, than I do, than the individual does, than the private corporation does. However, I thought that the, the process of putting this together was so messy and there were so many dumb ideas that were thrown out there congressman that that was why i was pushing back and there was a lot and I'm, i want to let sean spicer ask you a question but there was a lot of fighting sean between there was a, a very it, there was animosity between well, the president and, but, and, but there was but i think that when you look at something that hasn't been done in 31 years there's a lot of ideas that come to the table the tax code hasn't been touched since the internet took off and so when you look at the number of things that had to be updated and transformed and reformed there's a lot of people that wanted to come to the table with their ideas. I think that's a good thing. And I think what we saw is, is the manifestation of all of those ideas coming together. It's not perfect. There's going to be some problems. And there's going to be some technical corrections. But I think, Sean, one of the things that I'd like to ask you is, in your time in Congress, where do you think this will rank in terms of all of the bills and all of the legislation that you've seen passed or been part of? On a scale of 1 to 10, where do you put this in terms of what you've seen so far? Hey, good to see you, Sean. Um, an awesome job. You're part of this great story. I mean, the good work that you've done to help sell this to the American people, building the moment momentum for the big day yesterday. Thank you for that. But listen, I've been, I've been in Congress for seven years. This is the biggest thing that I've been part of, and I think this will be the biggest thing that I'm part of in my whole career in Congress. This is huge um, for our economy and for the American people. Um, but, but let me go back to the point of, you know, there was dumb ideas, Dagan. And you're right. I think what's happened, though, is we call it sausage making because it's an ugly process. Uh, what happened in the past is it was happening behind closed doors. We didn't have a 24-hour news cycle. Um, we didn't have the Internet. 
Well, we have those tools now, and the doors have opened up, and I think the American people see some of the good ideas, the dumb ideas, the bickering, the fighting, the exchanging of ideas. The American people are far closer to the process than, than they were in the past, so they think it's changed, but it hasn't. This has always been well, the process. I argue, though, but that, we just you, see it more closely. that you need to do that. You still have a lot of work to do in terms of selling it, and maybe that happens just when people see more money in their paychecks, when people get to keep more more of the money that they've they've earned. Then maybe that just happens automatically. But again, only 17 percent of people in that Wall Street Journal poll think that they're yeah. getting a tax cut when it's 80 percent or more. And Dagan, I saw a poll from Ronald Reagan's tax cuts. Only 18% of people thought they got a tax cut, um, and 45% of the people thought they got a tax uh, increase. This is similar polling. That's because the left-wing media, I mean, I, I, I think it was Newt Gingrich made this point a couple days ago, that when the left-wing media has said how horrible this legislation is, and Democrats have said how horrible the, le the, the legislation is, it doesn't help middle-income families, and it only helps the rich, and then they poll people, and they repeat those themes, well, of, of, of course. But when they actually feel... Um, more money in their pocket in February when their taxes are recalculated, when we see the bonuses that happen right. like we saw with AT&T and we see more investment in America, they're going to applaud this. They're going to love right. it. And I think Democrats are going to be back on their heels because they didn't support any provision of this. Well, I will do this for you, Congressman Sean Duffy. I will do my Nancy Pelosi imitation where she goes, Armageddon, end of days, the coming apocalypse because you cut taxes. There you go. It's all over. Uh, uh, <laughs> only Armageddon for the Democrat Party. Right. <laughs> we'll see. We have an election less than a year away. Congressman Sean Duffy, thank you, sir. I'm hey, good to see you guys. And Sean Spicer, good to see you, too. Awesome job, brother. Thank you, man. Good I to see eat, you. Merry Christmas, I would Sean. eat crow for Christmas if I wasn't a vegan. <laughs> <There you laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Come